Hey there, Silver Tongue Devil here, and it is time to start getting you those achievements with ease and a little bit of cheese. In this video, we're going to be unlocking and upgrading Pestilence. Now, unlocking Pestilence can be a little bit finicky, but I'm going to show you a method so you get it on your first try. So everything that we need to unlock it is going to be available to us from the very start of the game. You will need a Winter's Bite. You will also require some Wildfire. Both arrows are fairly common as drops and in the shops. Once you have both, find yourself a Standard Archer. Put him on ice with a single Winter's Bite to the body. Switch over to Wildfire and finish with a shot to the head. The only thing to note here is that you immediately kill your frozen enemy with a Wildfire arrow. As long as they are taking tick damage from Winter's Bite, they are classed as frozen. To ensure that Pestilence is added to the world, we will either need to die or simply end our run. Next up, we are going to unlock the Great Plague in a more cheesier fashion. Now this is going to require enemies that are specific to the Abyss, so for efficiency's sake you really do want the Abyss portal unlocked at this point. This may make taking the sting out of those 666 kills one to wait on until you can comfortably get to the Abyss or teleport there via the portal. So, let's head there now. Thankfully Pestilence seems to be a fairly common drop, so kill orphans and regular enemies until you get it. Leave the summoners alone for now as it is time for the cheesy part. Now, most of the summoner spawns are viable for this strategy. I'll show you a couple of my favorites and the concepts behind this. First, we want to clear all the enemies around the summoner's location. We then want to perch ourselves on one of these low stair railings, looking at the summoner so that he's able to spawn his minions without them coming towards us. A four is the magic number in this circumstance. Teleport off, pop a pestilent shot at the bottom of the stairs. We are basically looking at setting up an area of pestilence between us and the summoner. We want to kill the abominations, we do not want to kill the summoner. When all four of the previously summoned abominations have died, return to your perch, wait for another four to spawn, and repeat the process indefinitely. As always, the only thing that will limit you here is your number of shots. Here is another example of the same strategy, but a different location. Again, clear out the regular enemies, Perch somewhere where you have line of sight on the summoner, simply wait for his four abominations to spawn, teleport down, listen out for the abominations to begin their march, place your pestilence arrow and let it do its work. Be aware that as long as an enemy's life bar is blue, they are technically classed as poisoned, which then means that you can, if you need to, finish them off with a regular arrow. And although this technique won't score you any points, it will count towards your lay them to rest achievement, which involves killing thousands upon thousands of abominations.